I'm going to talk about why people's dreams they're seeing themselves ascend in the air as destruction falls. I've talked over this before. And it has to deal with Noah's Ark. See, as the floodwaters fell around Noah, the Ark rose. At the same time they fell, the Ark would lift. Now, a lot of you seeing yourself go in the air, I just want to say off, heaven is not in the sky or in the clouds. Heaven is another world. It's a, a, Jesus said the kingdom of heaven is within you. He said the kingdom of God cometh not with observation. That means you can't see it. Neither can you say low here or low there. It's not in this place. It's not beyond the clouds. It's not beyond the, the atmosphere. It's not beyond space. Neither can you say low here or low there. For the kingdom of heaven is within you. The kingdom of heaven is, you awaken to it. Jesus said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. This brings up another debate about what being born again is really about. Because in the book of Peter, it says being born again. Um, being, that word being born again, that's a process of being born again. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. But anyways, back to Noah's boat. It rose as destruction fell. And a lot of people are having dreams about bombs or something else happening and they see themselves ascend up. Well, they're taking their dreams literal and it's a spiritual meaning. They're ascending in the spirit. Um, during this time that the floodwaters are covering the earth or destruction, it's not so much a literal, even though these things will happen in the, the physical, it's mainly speaking of the things that are happening in the spiritual. You know, in Psalms it says, For this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. Because God begins at his, at his house first. He judges his house first. Surely in the floods of great waters they shall not come nigh unto him. Now, we know that waters don't separate between God, but if there's a, a symbol behind this floods, then something spiritual would separate you from God. If... Uh, that was the case if you allowed it. But see, God begins at his house. And they build the ark first. And the, the ark has to do with repentance. And the floodwaters that are falling have to do with destructions in many forms. But I'm going to tell you, one of the main forms is demonic spirits covering the earth. Men being drowned in perdition and sin and fornicating, homosexual, adultery, murdering, thieving, raping, all kinds of different spirits, spirits that they weren't normally taken over by, they will be taken over. See, I've had these dreams where I've seen the floodwaters rise and rise, and at points they will recede back. Well, at the very, even at the very beginning, many men died from these waters. When I say men, I mean women, men, everybody, because it's like an infection. Uh, once it touched them, they were taken away with it, they were killed. But some repented. And But then, when the waters rose at points, the water would recede back. And that's when I seen people taking it easy and relaxing. And then they were cut off guard when a big, huge wave came in and killed them. And then after that, they seemed like the waters kept rising and rising until every building, every mountain, every foundation was covered. Um, and there's, you know, those that were still above the floodwaters who had... We're still in the ark of repentance, uh, rising above it. So when people are dreaming about ascending in the air, they're really ascending in the spirit. In uh, the Greek, the word air can mean spirit or breath. We which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. We meet the Lord in the spirit. It's not the, uh, the earth's clouds that are below us or above us because the earth is circular. In the book of Peter, it says the uh, heavens will be on fire and the elements will melt with fervent heat. This, the heavens are going to burn up. These clouds and stuff are, are going to evaporate. Uh, the earth's going to be burned up. And it's not so. It's not just a physical thing that's going to happen, but also uh, it's a spiritual thing too. But I'm speaking on what we're uh, the direct conversation that we're having about people's dreams about the bombs dropping. Or they see floods and then they fly up. 
Well, they're interpreting their dreams incorrectly because they're interpreting it with the carnal mind and with man's doctrine, which is the rapture theory, which is incorrect. Um, so as the floodwaters or destruction falls, we rise above it. And many are having different dreams where they rise or ascend in the air or they ascend in this air. The only trouble is, is some will ascend in the spirit. And like I said before, when they think everything's all right, like they're done, they think they're done because they've ascended this height. Here comes another wave of destruction and they're taken by it. And, and it, it also goes along with these people having dreams about having babies. These babies are what are being bared forth from their relationship with God. They're bearing forth to God because they're getting close to Him because they're repenting. But a lot of people's babies are going to die because they're not taking heed. They're uh, thinking that uh, they're safe and okay when they have to endure to the end. Jesus said, He that endure to the end, the same shall be saved, and him that overcometh. There'll be some, though, that bring forth more of that Christ nature in them and will be able to help the rest. But that, compared to the ones that uh, are destroyed, it's not a great number. God bless.